Hey everyone, I'm just running through a new batch of Tiny Picos and I thought I'd take the opportunity to talk about the ugly, dirty side of PCB manufacturing. The side that no one ever talks about, that no one ever showcases in their videos or even talks about their process when it comes to overseas manufacturing. It's the cleaning of the boards and I'm not talking about the ultrasonic cleaning at the end, I'm talking about the depanalyzing and cleaning the debris off the boards so they're not harmful to yourself and not harmful to those that are receiving the boards. It's a very messy process, it's quite a time consuming process and it's quite a dangerous process. So I'll go through the precautions that I take when I'm cleaning the boards and I'm sure that you're all going to think that the process I use to clean them is quite archaic. Please watch to the end of the video before you feel the need to stop this video and comment on what I'm doing. At the end of the video, I'll discuss why I clean them the way I do, what alternative methods I've tried, and what the correct way to clean them would be, but unfortunately I can't justify the cost of a machine to do it. If you still feel the need at the end of the video to let me know how much of an idiot I'm being, or to give me some suggestions on alternate ways that I could actually be cleaning the boards, please feel free to leave a comment then, but watch to the end of the video first. Okay, here we go. Okay, for the task, I'm using some nitrile disposable gloves. I go through hundreds of them. They're probably not as thick as they should be. Uh, you can get thicker, but as long as it, I don't break the surface, it's fine. I'm using a pretty sharp knife. I go through probably one of these blades every maybe eight panels. I'm using a carbon filter mask. I probably should be using a full face mask, but at least this covers my mouth and my nose. Um, I should be protecting my eyes, but I wear glasses, and so that's kind of difficult. And so I use the glasses to protect my eyes. I also make sure that my, not just my hands are covered, but my arms are covered. I try to have no exposed skin anywhere near the boards when I'm working. Obviously the vacuum cleaner that I use right next to the boards as I'm scraping helps to remove probably 80 or 90% of the dust and debris. So I generally don't have any dust on me that goes beyond the fingertips of my gloves. So let's get cleaning. So I have a process when I pull my boards apart to clean them. The first thing I do is take the edge rails off the boards and I normally have to use some pliers to get them off. Then I'll clean all of the edges first because it's much easier to clean them when they're ganged together than when they're individual. As you break the boards apart, some edges are already clean and some of them aren't. So when I pull the panels apart, I separate them into one side needs to be cleaned, both sides need to be cleaned in the middle, and then one side needs to be cleaned at the end. That way I'm not re-cleaning edges I've already cleaned. The same thing happens when I pull the individual tiny picos apart is I'll separate them into three piles so one of them needs one edge clean, the one on the other end needs one edge clean and the ones in the middle need both edges clean. It's just an optimization to save time because as you can see this is a very slow process. And here are the clean boards. So nice edges on them, nice and straight, a lot of effort obviously to get them clean. Let's have a look at pulling a panel apart to see the type of debris up close, shall we? Here's a, an old dead panel. This had a, a manufacturing fault from JLC PCB. The entire power plane is shorted inside, so visually you can't see from the outside. So I'm just going to get a little bit closer and I'm going to pull this apart if I can. As you can see, I can't even bend this. The more shallow the score, the harder it is to break off, but the more debris that you get from it. Alright, let's go to the side. Wow. Okay. So you can already see along here that out of the way. There's debris sticking out. And here you go. If you look along that edge there, 
Let's see if I can put something dark underneath. I can make this stand out even more. There you go. So if you look at that crap just along there, it's sharp, it's nasty, so these wispy bits sticking off. I can't ship boards that look like that. That's just terrible. So that's why they need to be cleaned. I don't really get a choice. Well, I do. I mean, I don't have to clean them. I can ship them like this, but I'd be totally embarrassed to send a board out like that. Look at that. Look at the wispy bits sticking off. I mean, that's just dangerous as well. Right? If that breaks off, if someone gets a board like this and pulls those wispy bits off themselves, they're getting fiberglass on their fingers. They're going to breathe that in. They're going to get it on their things, on their clothes. So, yeah, it's just... I mean, look at that. Just terrible. So that's why they have to be cleaned. I don't have a choice. Presentation aside, it's just plain dangerous. Yeah, I mean, that's just sharp. Really sharp. And the fact that I'm doing this with no gloves on right now is just plainly pretty stupid. So that's my process. Gloves, scalpel, vacuum cleaner, and scraping. It's a manual process and it takes ages and it's quite messy, as you saw. So the other things I've tried are obviously sanding blocks with sanding paper. I've got a belt sander. I've got a disc sander. I've got just a normal rotary sander that I've tried mounting to do it with. The problem with all of the sanders is that you can't guarantee to get a straight edge, right? To be able to hold the board exactly perpendicular to the sandpaper as it's moving super fast, it's just really hard. Uh, you also can't get your face so close to it that you can see if you've cleaned it well enough or if you've maybe taken off too much and you're starting to eat into the header pins. So I've tried all of those things, they haven't worked very well. I've also tried using a bigger knife and different type of knives. All of those processes are extremely messy as well. I mean, when you get a, a belt sander or a, a disc sander and you put a PCB against it, you get debris flying everywhere. Having a vacuum cleaner up close to it just doesn't do enough and you end up with just dust, fiberglass dust everywhere. So the actual real solution for this and what PCB manufacturers use are milling machines. They'll take their panels that they've populated on their machines and they'll go and put them back into their milling machine and they will mill them apart. Now that's great except firstly you need a really good and big mill to be able to do it. You need uh, end bits that are like 0.2 millimeters and you need to be able to accurately control their movement so we're not talking about some cheap Chinese CNC or milling machine from AliExpress but you also need a complete vacuum sucked system where you can hold the board still while you're cutting it and not have the board move. Now if you think about the size of a tiny pico, I've got 15 tiny picos on a panel. How would I hold the panel still and cut them? Because as I start cutting through, the board's going to start moving. And my boards are double sided, so there is no type of vacuum system that I could get that I can think of that would hold one of my boards in place with the ram on the bottom and not have them shift while it's milling. And all I need it to do is shift a little bit and I've destroyed a board. How do I know this? Because I've done my research. I've been speaking to different PCBA companies over in China. I've had a very lengthy discussion with JLC PCB about how they separate their boards and how they clean them. And it's all about using one of their milling machines. So my only option is to do them by hand. I can't think of any other way to do them. And I've now cleaned about 4,300 tiny picos doing it this way. And it is not fun. But it is what it is. I would rather do that than ship out boards with the debris on the edges of them like I've shown you. Okay, that's it. If you've got any ideas or anything you want to share, please put in the comments below. If you just want to let me know how much of a fool I am, you can do that too. That's okay. While I'm sitting there cleaning the boards, I'm thinking exactly the same thing myself. To my patrons, thank you. You're amazing. I really appreciate your generosity. And until next time, catch you later.